that there was a reported gunman on the campus of Northwestern and my nephew and brother-in-law were there for a college visit and ended up having to um, uh, be in in place. They were under lockdown for a couple hours and uh, this was after a uh, local school council meeting last night where there was heated discussions about uh, whether there should be metal detectors in schools and the best way to prevent shootings. And it really boils down to my son and I uh, actually arguing on, you know, is there hope for America? Uh, are we so obsessed with guns and values or lack of values that there's no hope in turning back. And the only thing that I did say is when we talk about there are no values, often it's talked about as though values are something that happen out in another place. And um, what's really important is that we absolutely positively must be um, true in our own hearts with everything that we do. And maybe that's naive to expect that people still want good, but I actually have to believe that most people don't want to go out and get shot on their day-to-day -day activities. So how can we each manifest our own, um, our own values, our own good, our own, um, I keep thinking of that Mary Williams quote, our own glory uh, with God manifest in us, whatever that means to you, whether it's the universe or some sort of spark of life. Uh, but I hope that we can figure out how to be safe, how not to want to hurt other people. And I would ask that each person try to be kind in their day-to-day -day life and let's pass on more kindness. And if kindness is naive, then absolutely call me naive because we have the power to be kind in everything we say and do all day, every day. Um, so let's try to spark a light. Uh, in kindness and no matter how you feel about the Second Amendment or um, what controls and things should be in place, um, everybody has the power to be kind.